Article 16, shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost item included in the three-year collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Fire Department Supervisory Association Local 3017, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing level. 2017, $52,918 over 39 weeks. 2018, 71809 over the 2017 level. 2019, 64,849 over the 2018 level, and 2020, 10,644 for 13 weeks over the 2019 level, and further to raise and appropriate the sum of $52,918 to fund the cost items related to the Hampton Fire Department Supervisory Association Local 3017 salaries and benefits for 2017. Such sum represents the additional salaries and benefits over the 2016 budget level for the first of the three years that are contained in a collective bargaining agreement between the Town of Hampton by its Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Fire Department Supervisory Association Local 3017 pursuant to the collective bargaining law, RSA 273A, the compounded cumulative cost impact over the three contract years of the agreement is estimated to be $330,758. A majority vote is required on Article 16. It is recommended by the Budget Committee 5-0, recommended by the excuse me, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 8-4, to four. the fiscal impact note, the estimated 2017 tax impact is 1.6 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 16? Moved by Mr. Bean, seconded by Mr. Waddell. Mr. Bean, would you like to speak? Or Again, you... yield to Mr. Uh, uh, Sullivan, sir. Thank you. Jamie Sullivan, Assistant Town Manager on Article 16. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. As you've indicated, this uh, contract deals with the fire officers. And as with uh, the prior group, uh, we, we negotiated a similar manner, um, and the board unanimously supported. Uh, it is a three-year deal, 3-3-3 um, three, three, three over those three years. Uh, similar concessions uh, to the other unit with regard to uh, increasing uh, payment on their uh, premiums over the three-year period, uh, changing the prescription plan, which saves additional monies there. Um, an increase to the opt-out provision for those that choose to not take the insurance. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there were some other additions in there with, reject, with respect to uh, some incentives within this unit that previously did not exist. Uh, the board unanimously supported, and I would ask you for your support on this as well and be ready to answer any questions someone may have specifically. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. And, uh, Ms. McMahon. Mike McMahon, 49 Ann's Lane. I'm here um, as a taxpayer and on behalf of Local 3017, of which I'm a longtime member. Um, and I'd like to thank the board for their support in this negotiation session. I've been negotiating with the board for uh, many years now. This is the first time that your employees, fire, teamsters, and public works alike, have been able to put forward a three-year deal in almost 15 years. It takes a lot of time from your selectmen, um, the attorney's office, the town manager's office to negotiate deals. If you're asking them to do this every year for 10, 12, 15 years at a time, it's taking away from other important work that they should be doing. Supporting this agreement, all of these agreements, will help them to continue to do the good work that the town needs. I'm proud to support this agreement. I'm proud to work for the town of Hampton. It's a great place to live and raise my children. And I ask everybody to support this, please. One other note, um, Mrs. Wolsey was correct when she noted that the Budget Committee caught an overstatement in the original expenses, and I thank them for that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. Chief Aya? Thank you again for the opportunity to speak on behalf of the fire officers. Uh, again, this is a professional organization that contributes daily to the community that we live in and, and serve. Um, the, the fire officers that are working for this department are the finest. I have no doubt about that. You'll be able to put them up against any fire department out there. Their contributions to the community, they, they go far and wide. Uh, Mr. Griffin, I do appreciate you bringing up something else that's a very salient portion in these two contracts, uh, in acquiring new employees, uh, being an attractive place to work. It's it's a very difficult place to work at times, as you might imagine. This town is growing and it continues to. We see increasing call volume. Um, in the summertime, this is an ex exceptionally busy place to work, as you might imagine. Uh, we're enticing people to come in here to do a job that they're going to be actively working very hard at. 
and um, it, it opens up that opportunity. So thank you very much for that. I support this article as well. Thank you, Chief. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Uh, Mr. Griffin. Yes, I would like to um, also, I meant to thank before, uh, the group that's been working on the contracts led by Mr. Sullivan and Mr. Dean um, and the town attorney. Uh, this is one, it, it's a good example of the value of having Mr. Sullivan particularly on this team. He's worked very hard and uh, I think that it shows the value that we're getting. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Seeing no one else, uh, Article 16 will appear on the warrant 